Master, Peter. How do you do it? Oh, we're supposed to stand here. I guess we're supposed to stand right here. We're supposed to stand right here. We're going to shoot right over your head, Lisa. Ladies and gentlemen, here at the All Things That Rock Expo, I introduce you to my dear friend, the legend, Mr. Peter Chris. Here, here. Pulled him away from his line for just a second. You guys waiting in line. Look, they're all over there saying, wait a minute, we're waiting in line and Peter's over here? Trust me, he'll be back in two seconds. We just wanted to come out and say hello to everybody. Um, first things first for Peter. Peter was just given an award in New York City last week for his work and creating awareness for men's breast cancer, which Peter is a survivor of. So give him a round of applause, please. How'd it go, Peter? It was great. Uh, it's like my, I think, fourth one I've got now. I got two humanitarians, and then they put one out, the Peter Chris Award. And this is a survival board. I am chewing on gum. Someone shit on his microphone here. But uh, it was exciting. I mean, like, you know, to get an award like that, it's not like a gold record. It's a whole different ballpark. It's a different arena. Not like this rock and roll. It's a whole, like, doctors. And they got all these, you know, important people there. You know, the oncologists, radiologists, all these words. I don't know, 10 hour words. But it was an honor because my doctor got a lifetime achievement and that's a pretty big deal uh, in, the, in the business of cancer uh, because there's a lot of cancers and I guess a lot of you guys as I try to push it men get breast cancer the word breast annoys me because it sounds like breast cancer and it's immediately a girl's thing and it's not it's a guy's thing and all I'm trying to say is you got to get aware you got to check yourself you got to see if anything's wrong if you feel a bump Go look at it, it's not gonna go away. It's like most men, as stupid as we are, we think, oh, I lifted weights wrong, I did something else wrong. And it can be really, really devastating. And all I'm saying is, go get it checked out. If you got a toothache, you go to the dentist. If you feel lump, you go to the doctor. And uh, you'll live longer, man. It's just that simple, it really is. It's uh, absolutely, it's so, it's so important. You know, I know we're all here to have a good time, but it's an important message Peter's been getting out. And the irony of all this is that I was honored that Peter asked me to attend this event with him and give him the award. And I couldn't go because I was getting, a, as part of my screening, I was getting a colonoscopy the day that, uh, that Peter was getting this award. So as a result, the bottom line is it's important that everybody gets screened as we get older. Um, a dear friend of mine, Ronnie James Dio, passed away because he didn't get screened and his doctors always told me it's important to get that message out. Peter's been doing a great job of it and uh, it's important not to be afraid to talk about it and get it out there and let everybody know. So Peter, how's things going for you back there at your table? You see some great fans? This is great. I got up 5 o'clock this morning, which is like the time I used to party till. <laughs> now I get up at 7 o'clock and go to bed at 10. So, but it was, you know, I didn't expect as many people to come out in, in Philadelphia or wherever you are, Pennsylvania. And stuff, I mean, they're still online. I got here this morning. And oh, it, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's really cool uh, to see the fans. And I felt that same way when we were in, into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame recently. Uh, yeah. You guys should have had a performance. You deserve that. That's what you should get for giving me 40 years of a really great life. I have a really nice house, I have a nice car, I have great cats, I have a beautiful wife, I have a couple of bucks in the bank. I have, I have a great life because of you people. You are the guys who put Kiss in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And we should have played for you. I was ready, I had my sticks, but everything works out. And I'm not ranking the guys out. I'm not gonna just throw four five because that's put people on my gossip. I'm just saying from you or me to you, I would love to play those drums for you for at least two songs, five minutes, for 40 years. I mean, I said the same thing on Eddie's show when I did his show, you know. What's well, five minutes? It's nothing. But, eh, I still love you to death. I do these things. My wife gets me off the couch. This is much better. I get to see a lot of love. I get to hear a lot of great stories. You guys tell me stuff like, I've been waiting for 40 years. I've been waiting for 30 years. 
Uh, and it is, it's fulfilling. I leave here and I go, wow, you know, uh, it's like really nice to hear that some of you don't wait. Or, I, or you're playing drums because of me. A guy told me earlier, he picked up drums because of me. He got laid because of me. <laughs> he got married because of me. He's about the most popular guy in the world because of me. And he's making a living because of me. He didn't get divorced because of you, did he? No, no the last <laughs> one, one thing I, I told him, he's been blessed because I've had two of them. So he's got... But otherwise, it, it's, it's really, you know, blows your mind to hear that, to hear, like, you know, because you changed my life. That's a pretty cool thing. My dad told me one thing. He said, it's not what you take with you, it's what you leave behind. And I think I've got some cool shit behind. So. Oh, one last thing. One last thing before we let Peter get back to the people waiting patiently in line in the back there. Um, about a year ago, for you guys that don't know this, Peter and Ace got together and played for the 30th anniversary of my radio show in New York. And after you guys did that tremendous honor for me, uh, we were talking and you said, you know, getting up there behind the drums, you didn't get to do it at the Hall of Fame, unfortunately, but getting up there and playing kind of got your juices flowing and made you make some music again. So can you tell everybody here today if you've gotten any progress with that and you're you still planning on doing a rock record again at some point? I'm, I've been sitting on a record and I'm glad we still call them records. That's called the record. Look what they're selling out here. They're still records, it's man. It's so nice, Fantasy Violet. Yeah. And I've done this thing like five years ago, and I'm still messing with it. But And I'm not done with it because I don't want to rush it because I find... The sad thing is you put music out today, you're downloaded immediately. Rock and roll's not dead. I don't want to hear that. The rock's dead. It's, it's far from dead. But it's just not maybe what it's doing what it used to do. So... I'm going to release probably singles again, like a 45 or two songs per thing instead of put out 13, because it just isn't fair for the artists. You, you put out your songs and you're downloaded and there's really nothing going on. I want to take my time with it. I'm kind of putting more time into it. I want, I want it to be heavier than I've usually done my stuff. And then I'll get, it's too heavy. You should go back and do light stuff. Because fans are never happy. You guys aren't, no matter what we ever did. They're like, oh, that sucks. I want this. Oh, he's playing that ballad shit again with the with, you know, where's whatever, you know, whatever song I'm doing, I'm screaming should be better than that song. I'm working on it. I got Johnny Five messing up Rob Zombie. By the way, I wanted to thank Rob Zombie, which he You played with Zombie. Yes. And, and the he is it? And he, uh, he, Rob Zombie's like uh, the bastard offspring of Kiss, and he had a member of Kiss playing in his band. Yeah, say, well, they, they did that because of the Hall of Fame. I got a call from Johnny Five, and he said, well, since the assholes didn't want to play, uh, we want you to come down and play with us and make up for it. And I said, you're kidding me. He said, no, we'll get you DW drums. We'll get you anything you want. We want you to go to the it was one of the best nights I, I had in my life in a long time to go up there and play with such great guys. I mean, they are really super guys. I think Rob uh, is just one of those guys that, you know, maybe you guys don't know him as well as I do or Ed, but, but he's, they're real, all of them, Ginger, uh, all of them are just really sweet guys. So I just get them apart. They just do it. Absolutely. Well, I mean, and, and like everything, if you didn't see it, you can see it on YouTube because there's nothing that isn't on YouTube <laughs> in the world if you want to see it. Um, Peter, we'll let you get back to the people waiting so patiently in the back for you. Peter's here tomorrow as well. Go back and say hello to him. As you can see, one of the best guys, the real deal, the great Peter Chris, everybody. So go back and say hello to Peter and all the other great artists that are in the back room and of course here in this main room as well. Uh, you got Vince Martell and uh, 